And in line with that question of the day, a week is a long time in politics. And if you've ever doubted that idiom, look no further than some of our major metro councils. It's been a week now since the Twane Mayor Stevens Mukhalaba went on special leave and now faces a motion of no confidence. While the city of Joburg has a new leader with the election of the ANC's Jeff Makubo as the mayor. And now the Nelson Mandela Bay Council has booted out the UDM's, the UDM's Mungameli Bobani in an unprecedented move, political rivals, the DA as well as the ANC, teamed up to strip Bobani of his mayoral chain. There's been widespread calls to put the council under administration. Right now, let's go to the SABC News' Lerato Fekes, who joins us from Port Elizabeth. Good evening and welcome to the full view. Tell us what is the situation like at the moment before we get to how we got here. Well, the situation at the moment is that we currently have a new mayor, but it will be an acting mayor who will act for 14 days. He is AIC's, who was a deputy mayor at Chonunabuye. He was elected by the council members to be the acting mayor for the North Middle Metro for 14 days, up until the various parties reach a consensus, or they put their names forward on who they want to be the next mayor. So currently, the deputy mayor is now the mayor, the acting mayor here in North Middle Bay. So does this mean there's no deputy mayor at the moment? Not at the moment there isn't a deputy mayor. They just wanted, at the, the most important thing was to try and make sure there's a mayor for the, for the city itself. There's no deputy mayor, but only a mayor, an acting mayor, and that is Chonono Buyeye. Okay, so let's focus on how we got here. Um, because back here in Gauteng, the focus has been on the city of Joburg. The focus has also been on the city of Tuane. And uh, thousand, a few thousand kilometers away from the province, there was a political battle that was unfolding in the Nelson Mandela Bay Municipal Council. I think this battle of Bobani started the moment he was appointed as deputy mayor. From the onset, he's always wanted to be a mayor. And when he got in, he, I really could say, came into the back door by trying to conspire with smaller political parties to, to really gather behind him and make sure that he becomes mayor. They then obviously wanted to make sure that they removed Ethel Trollope at that time. And because they were so adamant to remove Ethel Trollope, they put in Bobani with the hope that he would be the uniting factor in the Black Caucus. But of course, the Black Caucus itself, the newly formed coalition, had its own problems. Um, speaking to some of the members of the Black Caucus, they said that one of the things was a problem is that Mr. Bobani was, a was not able to come to really sound decisions for the Metro. He was a man who made decisions by himself and was not able to consult the Black Caucus. And also there were allegations of ir irregularities in terms of corruption with the IPTS, with the Deloitte report. So various corruption charges around Bobani and also councillors saying that under his leadership, this Metro has come to ruin. So I think from the time he came in as mayor up until now, there's been corruption charges there's been maladministration, there's been misuse of funds, all culminating to where we are today, where he was removed as mayor. Any regrets from those political parties that supported him back in August last year to get him to that position? Ironically, like you said earlier on, that in politics, I think friends and enemies, you don't know who's your friend and your enemy. Um, one of the political parties that we spoke to, um, the Patriarch Alliance, who on the forefront of getting Mr. Bobani in as the mayor, um, was speaking to me on the sideline and he said that, you know what, I never wanted Mr. Bobani, I didn't want him to be a mayor, which was very ironical because he was on the forefront of removing Ethel Trollope. But now that Bobani is gone, he says that, you know what, I really didn't, really didn't want this guy to be a mayor. So there were really no regrets. I think every single party, except for the United Front, um, was against. His, his motion, but the general feel from the entire council was that, you know what, it's been a long time coming. It was actually his fourth motion in two years um, that he was asked to be removed. So I think the general feeling council was that, you know what, it's long overdue. Uh, the metro is unstable. The metro didn't have a CFO. There was a poor administration, misuse of funds, corruption charges. It was just about time for him to step down. So you've indicated that 14 days that we will have an acting mayor mm -hmm. in the uh, Nelson Mandela Bay um, municipality, or metro rather. What happens over the next two weeks? Have we have any indication whatsoever from any of the political parties whether they'll be putting a candidate forward, like Ethel Trollope, for instance? Um, the various political parties are very quiet about whether they're going to put someone forward. We spoke to the DA, we spoke to the ANC, and no one really wants to say if they're going to put their hands up to nominate someone to become the new mayor. They said that right now their focus is to try to bring the administration to stability. But you could hear that um, even before the council meeting, there are various names that are beginning to pop up of various political parties. But I think all political parties right now are just more focused on trying to bring stability administrative-wise. And then I think uh, maybe after a week or so, they'll sit down, try to reach a consensus, 
audiences and maybe try also to nominate a few people they feel are capable to, re- to, to lead this metro. Lerato Fekesi, thank you so much for your time. Well, it's episode, there you have it.